The way that we're currently living, it turns out, is unsustainable. And the energy that we use, that we drive primarily from petroleum for transportation, comes at a huge cost, that's CO2 emissions. Those CO2 emissions drive global climate change, which has many negative uh, ramifications, both nationally but also globally. If we could replace our use of petroleum, even fractionally, with biofuels, then we would be able to greatly reduce our CO2 emissions and can have a huge impact on global climate sustainability. The challenge here is that gasoline is very dirty, but also very cheap. What we're focusing in on our research is to make biofuels cost competitive so that consumers have a real choice. Lignocellulosic biomass is, simply put, the, the parts of the biomass of a plant material that is not edible by humans. So corn stalks and cobs and things of that nature. The key challenge is converting the plant materials into forms that can easily be modified chemically. There are several different methods that have been recommended for breaking down these complex molecules into simpler ones that can be converted into fuels. The most common of those uses a liquid acid. And the challenge to doing that is to doing it at scale and doing it cost competitively with gasoline. The approach that we are adopting in this work is to try to convert that liquid acid into one that's a solid acid. So now instead of the acid being soluble, instead it's, it's coated on the exterior of a particle. Solid acids have been used industrially for a lot of technologies, but they're typically involved with small molecules that can easily access the catalyst. In this case, we have a second particle, that being the biomass, which is a solid particle. How does that interact with the surface? And the work that we're investigating here is to try to understand both the catalysis but also the surface interactions of a biomass particle with the acid particle. The motivation for us was to try to take this technology which had been demonstrated to be uh, effective but really take it to the next level. If our research is successful, we'll be able to greatly reduce the cost of breaking down those large molecules as well as make it more sustainable so there's less waste. We think that success here at this research stage can trickle into practice and have major impacts in society.